Hey, this is Art. I'm N0EX. I'm going to do another demonstration on radio direction finding fox hunting equipment. And this time we're going to look at a mixing attenuator. And I'm going to demo that for you today. This is a mixing attenuator by KC9ON. And it uh, mixes the uh, receive signal with a 4 megahertz uh, offset and allows uh, fine-tuning of the signal that actually ends up in your receiver so you can control the level because as I've explained in some other videos I've done when you get very close to the transmitter uh, a basic handheld and a beam is overloaded and you can't direction find anymore your needles pinged so you need a device attenuator and this one works very well to reduce that signal strength that gets into your radio so you can direction find so here's the demo offset attenuator and it's a pretty simple device on the rear uh, connection to the radio and uh, a bypass slash power switch and a connection to the antenna the knob on the front is your attenuation control uh, max over on this side minimum over, over here we're gonna use this control again when we're very close to the transmitter to cut the signal down so that we can use the signal strength meter on the radio. Okay, here we are with uh, the the uh, no the attenuator's off. I'm going to do a little rotate here and show you that we are at full strength, no matter what direction we point this antenna. So I know it's kind of hard to see my signal strength meter, but but it's pinged. We're about 50 yards away from the transmitter. Okay, now I'm going to turn the uh, attenuator on. And you notice I have tuned my radio 4 megahertz off the uh, receive frequency. So now I'm at 151.48. And the 4 megahertz is the offset. You can also tune to 8 megahertz off or 12 megahertz off and get even more attenuation. So when the transmitter comes on, I'll show you that I can control that level of receive signal uh, on my meter. So. There you can see that I am rotating the knob and I can cut that signal strength down on the meter all the way to nothing. And then of course use the direction change on the trance on the antenna to look for that high signal strength. The transmitter's on again. I've got the attenuation, so I'm just getting a couple of hits on the meter. And you can see as I rotate, the signal goes away. I've got signal. And there's my highest signal strength. Now, if you look farther up the path there, you can see that's the transmitter dead ahead of us. We're only about 20 yards away. Okay, here we pr are pretty much on top of the transmitter, about five yards away. I have moved the frequency, so I'm 12 megahertz up. And you can see that I can still control the level of signal. And if I rotate around, I can still tell that I was pointing at the fox. So this attenuator allows you to knock the signal down so you can use your beam and walk right up to the transmitter. Okay, well, I hope my clips uh, helped you see how you would use the KC9ON active attenuator. In my testing in my yard on my property, it seemed to work very well. I have not used it on a hunt yet. Uh, but uh, I, I do want to reiterate that if you're going to try fox hunting for the first time or if you're new to it, you will need something to cut down the signal as you get close to the transmitter. So I have other videos on a RF sniffer that you can also use when your radio starts getting overloaded. You can use an RF sniffer, which is a device that will help you home in when you're really close. You can use an active attenuator like this. You can use an attenuator with switches uh, if it's got good shielding, but it's going to be large and it's going to be heavier. It's not going to be as convenient as this active attenuator. Or you can use a TDOA box. Uh, the TDOA time difference of arrival is not really subject to those high RF signals you get when you get close. So 
you can use that and then you won't need an attenuator. So there's three different options from you. You're probably gonna need one of them when you go fox hunting. This one works great. Uh, it's got a little pull off mount here. So when you build your um, tape measure antenna, sorry, when you build your tape measure antenna, put this on it, put this on your boom and, your, and uh, then you'll be able to clip the box right on there. So very convenient, easy to use, runs off a nine volt battery cost is pretty inexpensive it's anywhere from like 10 to 35 dollars i think as of this video date uh, you can get it uh, in a kit form you can get it pre-built uh, you can get a couple of different options besides uh, this form factor here so uh, it works well so you, you're gonna need to try one of those three things when you fox hunt so i hope this video helped you uh, see how this operates uh, comment, like, uh, share, whatever everybody on Facebook does here. I'm just hoping to uh, help some people learn and uh, do better and have more fun at fox hunting. So thanks for listening.